Good morning everyone. Alright, so we're out again this morning. We have decided to go to the east of the reserve. It's a beautiful morning. We've got hyenas calling in the distance. We've had baboons calling down the riverside. And also a great mist this morning. There's a beautiful layer of mist just behind me. And um, yeah, so let's go see what we can find this morning. Found a spotted hyena. Patrolling. Looking around. Probably looking for some food. Over here, we've got what we call a golden orb web spider. So we've just done a bit of a walk down to the Sabi River. It's dropped quite a lot um, since the rain we had in the beginning of the weekend. But it's still flowing pretty good. So all this rain we had is incredible, it's very good for the season ahead as we're going into the dry season and getting rain this, right into the, in the rain this late into our season now, it's going to help so many animals pushing through the winter. Pretty nice herd of elephants that just came out of the Sabi river. You can see their legs are still wet, they've got the river is not that deep. See that cow, her stomach's not even wet. But if you look at some of the calves, which are hiding just behind her in the bush, they completely wet. <laughs> they probably went underwater. Alright, so the tracks for this one male line is following a big herd of buffalo. So the buffalo tracks go down into the bush um, off the road. So we're going to be following the buffalo tracks um, and then see what we can find. So following these buffalo through this grass section, you can actually see the pathway that they made as they pushed the grass down. So buffalo, you really want to take it slowly and make sure there's no stragglers that were following the herd at the back, especially like big old bulls. Yeah, let's go see what we can find. Right, so about 45 minutes in now and we're getting fresher and fresher dung on the ground as we go. So the wind is against us, so it's coming straight into our faces, which is awesome. Because that means the buffalo won't smell us coming. So yeah, let's keep on going. Alright guys, so we found this buffalo on foot. It's quite a big herd. Not sure how far they stretch, but they are moving. They've now changed direction, they're kind of moving in the easterly direction. It's quite far away from them, good distance, they can't smell us, they won't be able to hear us because of the wind. So, standing here, we just saw the herd running, and there's a hippo chasing them. So, there's a a big hippo in the middle of the herd chasing them all over the place. How incredible is this? There's the hippo. Look at that. So the thing with hippos are they he was probably on his way back towards the river because he was out grazing for the evening and he walked into the middle of this big herd of buffalo and he's now getting chased all over the place. Incredible, and it's all on foot. All right, so we're back in the vehicle. We're gonna head towards those buffalo and see if that hippo is still around and see if they're still having a bit of a argument in the middle of the herd. Okay, so as you can see, it's quite a big herd of buffalo. See all the females and their calves in the middle and then on the outside, you'll see some of the bigger bulls. It's actually quite a nice big bull kind of looking at us right here in front. So it looks like the hippo has kind of moved on. I think what happened is there's a nice big seasonal pan right here in front of us. And he was probably just lying in there resting when all these buffalo came along and wanted to go into his little puddle. And there's a bit of conflict that happened. So he's kind of moved on now.
It's always just so nice sitting in the middle of the herd like this and just listening to all the sounds. So there's constant little grunts coming from the herd as these bulls are, every time they walk past each other, they give each other a bit of a nudge with the horn. And there's constant little competition between males, see so who's going to be the, the tougher, bigger, stronger male in the herd. And also there at the back you can see some females chasing each other, you know, maybe a young female came too close to, the, to her calf. So very, very cool just spending some time with them. Very cool is in this herd you find two kinds of ox peckers. You've got the yellow billed ox pecker. Right, that looks like that. You can see the red tip on the bill and then the yellow behind it. Nice red eyes. And then we'll show you a picture of the red billed horn ox pecker. Right, then here you've got the red billed ox pecker. You can see the nice yellow ring around the eye, a complete red beak. So this is the more common one that we see, where the yellow-billed ox picker is quite... Now, so the red and yellow-billed ox pickers. So the thing is, the ox pickers are on his buffalo and they're cleaning them. So they, they're eating all the little ticks off them. Especially in the hard places where these buffalo can't get rid of them. Like in between the legs, in the eye, like around the eyes, the nostrils, the ears. So all the soft spots where these ticks go and look for blood to suck on. So see what these buffalo do, because they're ruminants, they'll get as much grass in as possible. So they graze, and then they'll go and lie down. Like you can see, most of the herd is starting to bed down again. And they'll lie down and just regurgitate their cud, and just chew on it, swallow it back down, and then regurgitate again. Very sufficient way of feeding. They're going to take out all the nutrients possible out of what they eat. Just trying to see this big bull has just come and lie down in the wallow here. See if he might roll around and get some of the mud and water on his back. Very cool, so he did get to one side, he might turn and do the other side as well. Alright, so we had a very cool morning. Being able to track these buffalo down, following them on foot, and then had them on foot with the interaction between them and the hippo was really cool. So we're going to be leaving them. Looks like they're bedding down. It's getting pretty warm. And no, no sign of that lion. I mean, it, they could be lying down in, in quite a thick brush here somewhere. But yeah, we'll see. Maybe we'll find them this afternoon when it gets a bit cooler. Good morning, everyone. So we're out again this morning. we got lions roaring very close to us. Um, just got a little bit of uh, obstruction in the road. There's two rhinos sleeping in the road, but we are on our way there to go see if we can find these lines. How insane is this? So you've got two white rhinos just sleeping in the road in front of us. So it's mom to the right and then a little calf to the left. Right, so pretty cool is we found one big male lion kind of just walking down the road so we are following his tracks but then also there's a male leopard that's walked over the male lion's tracks um, yeah you can actually see so this is the male lion and then the leopard tracks which kind of steps right over him and both were kind of walking in there in the same direction great news so we found one of the male lions there was more roaring somewhere in this big block and we'll stick with this guy and see if he finds the rest of them. Right, so here's one of the other males, the, the bigger older male. So these four males are 
different ages. You've got three younger ones and then one bigger older male. So they've been calling, so when lions call they roar. So announcing their presence. So with young males like these, they slowly getting into an age where they want to take over territories, challenge other males and try and get a pride of females. incredible is that sound it vibrates through your whole body so the other three males are just calling behind this guy Right, so the younger male, he's actually busy eating grass, believe it or not, but when they eat grass like that, the grass stimulates the stomach or the throat and it causes a reflex so that they can gag. So maybe have a bit of an upset stomach and he's just trying to vomit so that it can come out. So these lines have moved a little bit they look like they better down now in quite a nice big thick area it's good cover here especially from today it looks like it's going to be a pretty warm day some of them they've got a bit of a stomach so it looks like they did have something to eat in the last few days Normally with the mane, you can see this guy has got the biggest mane of all the other three. Male lions reach full maturity around seven years old. So looking at these guys, they probably have another three years to go before they're fully grown. Right, so these four males are known as a coalition. So if they could stick it out for another year or so, they will be a force to be reckoned with. There's one problem though. This male behind me, which is the youngest male in this coalition, he's got a hole on the side of his stomach. And it looks like it's got a bit of an infection inside. So we're hoping that he'll be fine and he recovers from it. And they'll stick around for as long as possible. Alright, so we've got a very cool little flower uh, next to me. This is known as the blue comelina. Right, so it makes this flower very cool out here is you can actually have a drop of water that the flower keeps in the pocket underneath the flower itself. So if you're out here and you need an eye drop, all you need to do is find one of these flowers, take the pocket, makes a little arrow which points down and you just press it and this one is actually quite kind. It's got three drops of pure clean water in it. All right, so very nice morning we had. There's actually nothing like it than waking up five o'clock in the morning and hearing lions roaring in the distance and then being able to find them. And then they roar for us, which was very cool. All right, so everyone, hope you had a good safari with us and we'll see you again.